Good morning, I'm your South Florida lawyer, Patrick McGeehan, and I am your best friend at your worst time. Coming to you live from the Briar County Jail, Sally Port, that you can see right there. That's where they take prisoners in. Not a fun place to be, I'm sure. I had a really good question that came in on one of my comments from one of my videos about border searches. So here you are, everything you want to know about the Fourth Amendment Part 2, border searches. Border searches are different when you're coming across the border from Canada or Mexico. The Border Patrol has the authority to inspect you, which means search you without a warrant. It's based on the sovereignty of the nation and the federal statutes that govern that when you're coming in and out of the country through a border entry point. Not only does it cover crossing the border physically, but it also includes flying into the country, like Miami International Airport, Fort Lauderdale, are both border entry points. You are subject to warrantless search there. If you do not let them search you, they probably won't let you in the country. I've been searched a couple times coming across the border from Canada. Never had a problem with Mexico, but uh, Canada seems to get me every now and then. Anyway, so that's border searches. Totally different when you get away from the border. The further you get away from the border, the less authority they have to search. Once you're away from that border, they need probable cause or a warrant, depending upon what they want to search, to search you. And when they're doing border search, they can only detain you for long enough to conduct the search. They can't make you sit there for hours upon hours without articulating some other cause, basically a Terry standard. So there you have it, border searches. Never had a case involving a border search, but it's an interesting topic.